some lights here, Linda. No, I don't yeah. need this. Hello, what is that? Okay, well, how much? Four. Four. I had always been an energetic child, not really one to fit into much with most people. But back home, I was happy. I had people who understood me, but then my mom dropped a bomb on me. We're moving? Although Dublin, Ohio had its perks, starting a new school in the middle of a semester was not something I was excited about. I was sure to be an outcast. Come on, Superstar, grab that box. Now! And our new house isn't exactly a fantasy. Luckily, I found the parking garage downtown. It made for a good place to dance. It was at this point the only thing I could rely on. It was my crutch, my escape. I knew that no matter how far I was, dance would be there for me. so long. How are you liking the school and stuff? Not bad. It's a bit isolating, though. That's Logan. Uh, I wouldn't if I were you. Him and Sarah had a thing over the summer. Maybe you know her. She's kind of short, glasses. Yeah, she's in my seventh. She seems social. Yeah. Uh, there's a rumor going around that she wants him back, so if I were you, I wouldn't let her catch you looking. All right, uh, I gotta get to practice, but we'll hang out sometime, okay? Bye. I wish I could say after that, Sarah ignored me for the rest of my high school career, but I would be lying. The abuse continued. Every day got worse and worse, and the thing that stung was that I had no one to lean on. Everyone in the school basically ignored me thanks to Sarah's reign of terror. Wendy and I weren't close. It was like I was invisible. There was only one thing I could do. And as stupid as it was, my only solution was dance. All the anger and frustration I could express through dance. I was strong enough to ignore Sarah, but you can't just ignore someone who feels they have the right to control you. I need the strength to tell her I'm not her toy. She can't push me around anymore. It's my life. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I thought I was the only one who came up here. It's Sarah, isn't it? I heard what she's been doing to you. Aren't you her boyfriend or something? <laughs> Sit with me. You're really good, you know. At dancing, I mean. Thanks. It's kind of my only escape. Well, it's a shame you had it away from everyone up here. <laughs> Trust me, the farther away from Sarah, the more of an escape it is. Well, she is the worst. <laughs> I wasn't sure how, but somehow Logan made things better. Just by being someone I could talk to. It was like he was the only one that saw me. The weekend had passed and I spent most of it with Logan. Anyhow, I still wasn't sure I'd have the strength to face Sarah again. But Logan made sure I didn't have to worry about Sarah anymore. And thankfully, Wendy and I finally planned to hang outside of school. And it worked. I realized I don't need everyone at the school to love me. All I need is a few people who see me for who I am. 
And those are the people who make me feel on top of the world.